Today's video, I'm going to go over all the new stuff I got right here for filming. Um, in the past, almost everything I've used has been my iPhone. And I got a couple things over here I'll show you what I used with the iPhone. Um, but anyway, the iPhone you can go through, there's tons of videos on YouTube that shows you how to set it for photos and pictures and all that stuff. So I'm not using my phone, I'm using my GoPro Hero 11 Black Creator Edition to film this with. So that link to all that is in my Amazon link below. I have an Amazon storefront and everything, just go to my, go to my storefront on that link, click camera equipment and everything that you need is there. For the GoPros, everything you see on the table, all this is there. So um, I'm filming on that right now. Uh, I have another video where I went through all my GoPro stuff, different angle in the garage or filming in the garage. So check out the two videos. Let me know what angle you like the best. If you like it in the garage, if it's too echoey, you know, let me know all that stuff in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video, please. In the meantime, um, let's get started. Um, I'm actually controlling the GoPro on my phone. So I'm gonna leave my phone right here so I can see where we're at. All right, first up, I bought these batteries, uh, extra batteries, camera batteries. They're from newer. And if you can see that stuff, yep, the newer batteries. Um, yeah, good to have extra batteries. Um, and I'll save the camera for last. Um, of course, the little dust sprayer thing, you need this. Get you one of those, right? I have my Rode Video Mic 2 right here. And it also has the WS12 windscreen on it currently right now. This thing is straight, plug and play, no batteries needed. You just plugs in. You can use it on your Mac, your phone, whatever. But this thing, I love this thing. It sounds great too. So there's the mic. I have the Lonzi Light. It just hooks up to a cold shoe. Um, it just hooks up to a cold shoe right there on the bottom. I hook it into my small rig cage. So I use this. Um, I currently have this for a tri one of my tripods. The Joby 3K Gorilla Pod. I like this. It's got a little level on it in the front there. You can see and it just slides out like that. You can you know, mount it to your camera and then just slide it back in so you're not twisting on your camera and stuff. So I have that. So all my lenses oh, we have over here, we have the Viltrox 13 millimeter, uh, 1.4 aperture, wide angle. This is great for like vlogging because when you crop in on your camera, when you, when you do active steady shot on my Sony camera, it crops in a lot. So this really helps that. This also has a uh, Peter McKinnon's Polar Pro Signature Series 2 ND filter right here. And it's got the little stops on it. We can just twist it. I don't know if you can hear that, but you twist it and it has different settings on that as well. So I have that ND filter, great for shooting outside. Uh, I also have a Sony, one of the G Master lenses, the 18 to 105 millimeter lens. This thing's a beast. I love this thing. But there's the lens I use. It also has, I ain't gonna take that off because I just showed it to you on the Viltrox, but it has, they both have ND filters on them. Again, and this is the cover. So the Peter McKinnon's ND filter comes with this nice, nice cover, right? And so when you unscrew it off the camera, this just goes onto the back side of that. Take this and screw it on and you can pull this off and never have to touch the lens so it's always clean. So I left this out of the bag just to show you guys so I can remember. Um, the Viltrox comes in a nice bag too, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here, but Viltrox comes with this nice bag. I like that. The box, the padding, actually, you know what? I should have brought the box in here to show you guys, but it comes super protected in the box. I actually kept the box versus the Sony stuff. It just kind of comes in whatever. Viltrox did it right. Um, now, here's the camera. I have a Sony ZV-E10. And you might ask, why does it look like one? Well, it's because I got the small rig cage on it. You see the small rig cage goes all the way around it. It also gives you the nice grip on the side. So it makes it feel bigger because you get it, it's this teeny weeny camera and you get the small rig on it and it gives it some nice weight to hold it. I also ordered two different cold shoes are on each side, small rig cold shoes. With those, you can actually take them off and move them. I mean, look at all these connection points all over the bottom of the camera, the small rig, each side, the top, all that stuff. So um, that comes with the small rig. I got a Peak Design strap. I like this because it's magnetized right here. So it's just, let me show you this side. No, maybe it's this side. Anyway, so I like this because this is magnetized. So if it's on your wrist, right, and you go drop the camera, tightens. And if someone tries to steal it, it's all tight. And it just snaps in like this. You just take it and just boom, like that. See? Super quick, super easy. Take it on, take it off. 
It's nice, just like that. Now, the uh, next thing we got to show you is a handle. This is also from Small Rig. Nice little grip. What this does, it just mounts right here, this top, top port right here, I can't see. So what this does is it just mounts right here. Just like that, that simple and easy. And I, you can carry it on your camera like this, hold on to it, but I like this, especially if you wanna film and you don't have your gimbal with you. I love this. And um, it also has a cold shoe mount on, on the front, the back, all kinds of other mounting points. I mean, just look at all that. It's got mounting points all over it handle. It's just so versatile. Love it. And the next thing I got for you guys is the bag. This is all I have. Just this. Check that out. I mean, it's got, you know, I put some bubble wrap stuff in there, but it holds all of this. And I got this because I can take this and put it into any backpack. So when I'm traveling, I don't have a camera bag that people know is a camera bag so they won't be so inclined to steal it. Whereas if they know it's a camera bag, it's a camera bag. Now, I'm not a professional photographer, videographer. I don't do this for a living. This is just a hobby. I do it on the side for the car and stuff like that. So if you have a hobby, if you do it for a career, I'm sure you got tons of bags and all that. But for just a hobbyist or the traveling person, this is great. Again, this is all linked into my Amazon page. Um, a few little bonus items here. Since you did hear me mention I filmed a lot with my, um, my cell phone, the Razer Siren Bluetooth wireless mic. Now this thing can mic into anything, your Mac, anything that takes a wireless mic, you can use this. Um, I love this thing. And this is all it is, that big right there. And they actually send it with a windscreen as well, which is nice. It's two different ones, a foam one, and then the wind muff thingy. But um, it sounds great. Um, a lot of the videos I have with sound was actually recorded on this. So that thing's fantastic. Great buy right there. Um, and then another bonus item, going back to the cell phone. <clears throat> my ring light. It's a sun pack. I got it at Best Buy. Hold your phone right there. Um, you can screw it off and screw something else on there. But this thing is bright. Yeah, it's bright. Um, came with a tripod, but the GoPro is actually attached to, attached to the Tesla selfie stick, which is attached to the, the tripod stand that this goes on. So it's multi-level, it folds up really small and goes into another bag. So there's a little bonus items there for you guys. And um, all right, now next up, we got the Mac Daddy of gimbals. We got, I've had so many gimbals y'all, like I've had so many gimbals to use on my phone. Some of them work great for a phone. Um, I had to go all up to a Crane M3. And I got that actually when I got all of this. It was great on my phone, even works with the GoPro. So if you're wanting just to get a gimbal to use on your cell phone, you want to deck out your cell phone, um, make sure to look around on YouTube. I ain't gonna do a YouTube video on what I have my settings on on my iPhone because so many people have videos out on what to do for photos and videos both. Um, but, so I'm not gonna get into all that on this video, but the um, when I got the Sony camera, the carrying M3, it would work with the Viltrox lens, but it just, Still had some, a little bit too heavy. On um, the Sony lens, it wouldn't work with it. It was just too heavy. So finally, I, I sent it back and I got the best gimbal ever. DJI Ronin RS3. This thing right here, y'all. This thing is a beast. I mean, this thing is so pro. Like, it's amazing. A lot of people use these that are professionals. Um, they'll hook them up on the rigs that's on the side of cars, you know, the booms. On the booms, these things are like attached on there. Um, they use them in so many different things. So if you can see here, it's got the tripod at the bottom. That screws on and off. This whole section right here, this is the battery, this handle is, and it actually detaches. So you can actually take this off, store it, take this off, store it, and it's actually not that bulky to travel with. Um, you may be asking what this is, the briefcase handle. This is actually a small rig briefcase handle that is made for the Ronin RS3. It attaches on either side, right here or right here, and it's fully adjustable, has more cold shoe mounts. I mean, it's endless. And then this thing auto locks. I have a whole video on this, on this gimbal, so I'm not gonna go into that too much. Um, but this gimbal right here is by far the best gimbal I've ever used, like hands down. Um, so yeah, there you have it guys. 
This is everything I use on my Sony cameras and the bags over here. Let me go ahead and put that up right there. Here's all my camera stuff, minus my ring light. Here's all my camera stuff that's not related to a GoPro. All on this table right here. Uh, again, links to all of this is on my Amazon page. Go to my Amazon page, link below, and um, go to my camera equipment tab. Everything that's on this table is on there. Check it out. If you like anything, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, drop me a comment below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And go get some stuff, guys. This stuff is great. And All right, guys. So make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Make sure to watch all my videos. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. See you guys.